we're gonna be converting this old shopsmith wood lathe into a metal lathe. All the metalworking and unseizing of parts and creation and fabrication is going to be on Garen's channel. There will also be some modeling and casting work done on uh, Bryson's channel, Science Made Funner. I'm going to get started with all the electrical. The motor needs to be redone and probably rehooked up to the bottom of this again. I'm going to start unseizing everything. This moves back and forth along with this. This also slides on this rail. I'll be pulling this off and getting ready to do the, the slide system that controls our cross slide. This shopsmith folds up into a press drill as well. So we're gonna be trying to keep that. That way we have both the lathe and the drill press. Let's get started. What are we gonna use to unseize this? Some PB blaster, break loose some of this rust, maybe a scotch bright pad to kind of scrub off that. We're kind of putting together the rack and gear set to move our slide back and forth. And this is what we've come up with. A piece of H-rod, and this H-rod kind of goes right around in this area here. Then we're thinking we're going to take this chain. This is a timing chain from an engine. It's a timing chain and actually the sprocket on the end of the cam. And I'm going to cut this, uh, cut this chain in half so that we have just the gear teeth on it. I'm going to weld the chain on the inside of this all the way over and then that's going to roll back and forth. This gear will be mounted somewhere in here with the handle out here. Then I'll move this piece back and forth. I think what I'm going to do now, try to figure out some sort of end plates that's going to go on this side and then this side so that I can attach this to the lathe at the perfect level all the way across.
here's the rail, runs across, and then there's that chain underneath it. And then what I did is just welded some plates onto the end and bolted through this end of it. On this end, uh, this is actually a flat piece that's bent around a pipe the similar size of this, but I'm just gonna put two uh, hose clamps on this for now. I wanna be able to disassemble this whole thing, and I didn't wanna mount it to this because I still want the whole system to pick up and work as a drill press. This here was actually pretty simple. It looks kind of ratty now, and pardon my welds, they're not the greatest. Just a bike hub, and it does spin the opposite way, you know? So this direction is moving that way, and this direction moves in, which is kind of weird, but I think I'll be able to get used to it. It works really good, it's very solid, has a little bit of play in this part. I'm just gonna shim this rail down a little bit to make this tighter. But that's just a bike hub. This is just a piece of half inch rod that's welded on here. It's just a little flange that's put on the end of this rod. And I just welded that to the other half of the timing chain sprocket. And this is the uh, crank side of the timing chain sprocket. And this is actually just bolted on. Then on this side, how the whole hub system mounts is just a piece of square tubing welded onto the hub itself. And then that's bolted on to the slide. Overall, I think this system's gonna work out really good. Right now, the kind of the head of the whole thing is off, but this is just the slide system I'm working on. That's gonna be it for this episode. Be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Part two will be coming out on this build next Friday, so be sure to subscribe for that. Be sure to like and share with all your friends. That really helps all these build videos out. Thanks for watching.